when they were roommates. Welcome to Vigor. A questionable uh, choice of name seems it's what most men seem to lack when they want to bed their wives of over two decades. You know, the typical thing of, oh, now you see, son, these little blue pills help revitalize my vigor so that your mother can feel the weight of a man on her again, one who isn't our 16 year old gardener. When you launch Vigor for the first time, you're introduced with a tutorial. Here, you can have a choice of nine various different character avatars three ladies and six boys, or nine perfectly gender neutral humans, however you want to look at it. After you choose your character, you get to do a little obstacle course, just like you did when you were 14. An excellent form of cardio, and a great way of learning the movement mechanics of a game. You're then greeted by some pew pew bang bangs, something that I assume is meant to get our hearts racing. As a gamer, I am heavily conditioned into violence, and I uh, don't find gunfire that scary anymore. I run to gunfire, you know, I've played PUBG enough. I know that I respawn after getting shot a couple of times. LOL, get good scrub. You see, this guy's a noob. He doesn't realize that you can just press X to respawn after five seconds. LOL, JK, JK, XD. I know that this is a tutorial and that this guy isn't a player. This is just something that makes the game feel more immersive. It's really funny because they did a similar thing in uh, DayZ with their tutorial video. So they just rehashed the same idea into another game so that people understand it. It makes sense. I guess now is a good time as any to kind of explain what Vigor is. Vigor is meant to be an escape from Tarkov come Daisy come Hunt Showdown type of game. A looter shooter where you drop into a raid, loot the raid, shoot the raid, and preferably extract from the raid. However, if you enter the raid with gear and die, you lose all that gear, which is not preferable. However, you can buy insurance, but we'll show you that later. Probably the most important thing about Vigor is the fact that it's free to play, which means that your nan can play it if she's got a PS4 or an Xbox, you know, it's perfect. I mean, she needs a little vigor in her life as well, you know. <laughs> it's also available on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X slash S, whatever you've got. However, I don't believe that they exist because I've never actually seen one and I can't fucking buy one. I just think it's a government conspiracy to make us buy stuff that don't exist. You know, like how we think that daylight saving time is actually something that is necessary. However, it was only really introduced so that uh, we had more daytime so that we could buy more shit. A bit like a Black Friday deal, to be fair. Once you make the dash of your lifetime across the bridge and complete the tutorial, you get to go to your shelter. The shelter is filled with many things. The shelter is the one thing that kind of separates this game from all other loot shooters on the market. You could argue that the hideout is basically the same thing in Escape from Tarkov, whereas the hideout is something that you just kind of work on whilst playing Escape from Tarkov. The shelter in Vigor is essentially where you do everything in the game. It's a lot more interactive, in my opinion. However, when you first start the game at level 1, the shelter is practically useless to you. You'll need to do some encounters to level it up. The game is based in post-apocalyptic Norway, after some very upset people dropped some very upset nuclear warheads on everyone. The shelter isn't usually this snowy, but because it's Christmas or coming up to Christmas, they decide just to make it look a little bit more festive. The menu you're seeing now is where you do everything when it comes to encounters. At the top you've got the three encounters, Flesh Can 10, Butcher That Hard, Battery Drog, and I Have the High Ground Anakin. After that, you have two other game modes, Shootout, which is essentially a free-for-all. And Elimination, which is a team deathmatch. You essentially have two teams of fives, there's no respawns in a round, and after you, if you haven't killed enough people in enough time, uh, there's an objective that you need to capture. FPS player I used to be on console. The normal stuff. On the next tab you can decide your loadout. Here you can choose your weapons, ammo and consumables. Weapons and ammo are pretty self-explanatory, however the consumables gives you the medical items and any other stuff that you use throughout a raid which is not a gun or ammo. You can also deconstruct stuff like weapons if you've got lots of them and you don't need them, but that's not something I'm going to go into right now. On the next tab, you have the build tab. This tab is where you do all your upgrades for your shelter. At the moment, my shelter is not leveled up at all, so I need to drop into raid in order to 
upgrade my shelter. I specifically need 15 metal parts to upgrade my shelter. Obviously these uh, requirements get much higher the further along you go. However, you know, it's fairly easy to get the first couple of levels in quite quickly. One more along and it's to your crates. Crates you earn in game uh, when you extract with an airdrop. You can also get them from shootout if you get in the top three. You can also get them in the battle pass which we'll go over shortly. And I'm pretty sure you get them when you level up or you do certain tasks. You do get weapons and skins and various building materials and crates. However, you are unable to purchase them with your own money. The next tab along and you get the obligatory battle pass that every free to play game now has to have. The battle pass in uh, Vigor is 50 levels. It does have weapons, it does have crates, and it does have skins. However, the weapons and the crates are available in the free version of the pass. And the paid for battle pass just gives you like the junkie uniform and the skins for the relevant weapons. So you don't get any real benefit from paying for the actual battle pass when it comes to firepower or crates. The only thing you really do get more of when it comes to the paid for battle pass is the in-game currency crowns. Crowns are something that you purchase with your money and you use crowns to purchase the stuff from the store. The next tab is where you can customize your character. This tab you can change your character's avatar. You can choose an outfit, headwear, eyewear, facewear, gloves, backpacks, uh, headgear sets and outfit sets. You can also change gestures, weapon skins and your in-game titles here. On the next tab is the leaderboards. Here shows your stats. As you can see mine is empty. Moving along. The following tab has your collections. Your collections include little trolls, lighters and vinyl records. There is also a tab for your medals which are titles that you can use once you complete certain tasks in game. And last but not least you have the store page. Here you can buy limited time cosmetic items for crowns, the current theme is Christmas and you can also buy crowns on the following page. Around the shelter you also have a wonderful shooting range where you can practice your shooting skills, something that I definitely need to polish up on. You can also do gun challenges here where you shoot a certain amount of things in a certain set amount of time. also have this Swish Underground Bunker. Here shows all your weapon blueprints and all the weapons that you have. You also have a snazzy little spot where you can take people when they've been naughty, blow their brains out with a gun of their choosing, and then play the guitar afterwards. You obviously have the shelter itself. It progressively starts looking better when you upgrade it more. You have the main area which has a Christmas tree, a lovely sofa and a lovely roaring fire. The upstairs is an excellent space. As you can see, the sleeping arrangement is excellent. Very, very comfortable, very warm. Um, don't worry about the open you know, holes next to your bed and your head where you'll freeze to death during the night. You also have a wonderful basement where you can keep the naughty people before you take them to the bunker to shoot them. Now that we've gone over everything in the shelter, let's talk about encounters. So encounters are the bread and potatoes of uh, Vigor. They are essentially Vigor's raids. You spawn in with gear if you choose to, you loot, you extract with said loot, preferably without dying. So we're going to start one on Felcanten, which is, uh, I'm sure, the perfect pronunciation of that word, and see how it goes. But first, the most important thing about any game is how well you can teabag. Vigor has a strong teabag game. This is the encounter start screen. Here you can see all the players that you're playing with. You can have up to 12 people in an encounter. If you're extremely lucky you can get a whale in here. Someone who drops lots of crowns into more loot and better crates. You can also purchase insurance here. Insurance covers your loadout. So if you die, you get to keep all your stuff. You'll lose an airdrop though.
I'm going to stop narrating now. This is my first raid and let's get some gear. I love this conveniently crashed helicopter. We've come into this raid completely naked, so we've got no gear on us, no meds, no guns, no nothing. Hopefully this helicopter can provide us with something. You can change the drop zone with this. I'm not going to. Perfect. We have a gun. I'll have you. Call the boys. Nice. So that conveniently crashed helicopter gave us some good loot. We now have two pistols and an AK. We even have medication. And a bomb. However, that phone symbol you see on the top of my screen, that's whoever picked up for the boys. We can see each other from across the map. Anyway, I seem to have turned to narrating this, so I'm going to shut up now. It would be fun to get one of these people. Get good scrub. Not now, Bay. I'm kind of busy. OMG, what a whale. So much loot, lol. Me all that gear. It's time for some very inefficient looting. Pro tip, press square to loot all. Like I said, inefficient. Let's get out of here, not because I'm scared, but because I'm Chad. I totally meant to go the wrong way. Uh. Easy tops we get out of there. It's not because I'm scared, 
I promise. So with that excellent display of gaming prowess, we've managed to extract from the raid. Here we get to see all the fun stuff. All of the XP that we've gained, all the stuff that we've extracted with, all that lovely stuff. Vigor is available free to play on all consoles. Xbox One, Xbox Series X slash S, PS4, PS5, and the Nintendo Switch. With that all said and done, I guess that's the end of the video. Give the like button a tickle if you've enjoyed the video. Give the dislike button a tickle if you've disliked the video. Please subscribe as it helps feed my family. And I'll see you in the next one.